Hey traders, Taylor with Top Pick Trading, back with a third video today. Um, this will be a second entry short if it forms. You can see we've had this uh, downtrend, this larger one that got confirmed here after the small one had a break and a few legs down. And really the main thing is the last like four or five swings of the EMA is turn prices uh, lower every time without even letting anything close below, above it. So. Uh, I tried to start the recording a little earlier so you got to see the signal bar form. You saw it tick to its apex and um, now it's dropping so let's see if we get a good close. We do get a good close. This looks like a really nice setup. Let's see. Stop already in the right spot. All right. Just my profit target again. Going for six on this one. Uh, let's see. Technically, I should go for five. Not quite 12, so. Sometimes if it's really close, so I'm doing half ATR, so sometimes if it's really close to 12, I'll go for six. Um, or really close to 14, I'll go for seven. But traditionally, I'll uh, round down if it uh, if half of it doesn't equal um, the next tick value so so if it's 11 usually I'll go for five uh, let's see what else uh, so the context of this we've been in this range we started uh, really having this bearish bias a few moments ago during all this stuff here um, and you can just see how the EMA started holding every time every time prices came back it held uh, that combining that with this larger trend line holding very nicely um, on a second entry with a good setup bar too that started pushing prices up into the EMA made me feel really good about this trade. Um, this may be honestly with the context one of the best trades today. So or not, not maybe this is this is definitely one of the best looking setups today. Um, it is it does have a little congestion so. No trade's perfect, but um, I really like the way this looks. And, you know, this one's taken a while too, but <laughs> kind of like the last trade um, that should probably be uploaded by the time you see this one. Um, that trade didn't take off, so it surprised me. And kind of doing it again, so let's see. And this actually, this one now could turn into like a little mini failed second entry long. It looks like that's what it's probably going to do. <clears throat> I felt good about the last trade. This one I really feel good about. Let's see. It looks like we'll get out on this bar, hopefully. And we do. There we go. We got the scalp. Move this runner to break even. Let's see if we can get something out of this. It's halting at the lows like it wants to come back and... <laughs> grab those break-even stops so let's see we survived we ended up surviving the the last trade by um, a tick and I had moved it from break-even plus one back to break-even so that I'm, I'm gonna do that again on this one I may start doing that permanently I really like how this channel is holding and you know you don't get to see the EMA this strong uh, that often so got to take advantage of it and they do get our runner there but anyway really nice second entry short so I hope you enjoy